This is a uh, M1 Garand gas cylinder. And the operations rod, the op rod goes in here. And when you fire the weapon, the gases come out the muzzle. And before it leaves the, uh, the muzzle, it actually goes down through this little hole here. There's a gas hole right there. And that uh, pushes the piston back. Uh, so, you know, if you're an experienced uh, M1 man, uh, you know all this. Well, you should anyway. Uh, if you're new at the game uh, or you want to get into it, this is something that's important that you should watch. Uh, with these units here, um, the M1 Garands, they shoot thousands and thousands of rounds or they have shot, and these wear out. And when they're worn, uh, the gun doesn't function properly. So it's very important that this is, uh, it's mandatory that these are at the proper specifications. So, and there's only one way to actually find out if before you install it in your, in your M1 is to check it. Um, if you look into the mouth of the cylinder, you'll see the threaded portion, which is right there. Just be able to see it. Um, after you, after that uh, threaded portion uh, of the gas plug, then behind it, you'll see a step or a ring that is uh, in line with the rear of the gas port hole, which is the hole I showed you. This ring is part of the power stroke area and is the basis for the following measurements. The power stroke area is a working area of the op rod piston and is critical, obviously, in the, in the function of the proper function of the weapon. Should never, ever push any of these gauges and force them in when you check it. And what we use to check this is these three gauges right here. Um, very important. You will insert, insert these into the gas port tube cylinder. Uh, make sure it's clean. There's no oil or grease or any fouling before you insert your first um, gauge. The first insert is uh, 0 0.528 thousandths of an inch, and that is this one. See what that says? Right there. So what you do is you will insert this And um, yeah, there we go. It went in perfect. So it's it, it's uh, this is basically the first gauge you use. This is the go gauge, and it should easily en enter the cylinder mouth. It shows that the cil cylinder uh, cil blah, 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 excuse me cylinder is not undersized. Uh, that the power stroke has uh, as a proper clearance for the rod piston. Okay, you don't force this. Take this out nicely. Then the next one, of course, is the um, 0 0.530 thousandths of an inch. Let's see if I can find it on here. Uh, there it is. Yeah. There you go, right there. Now, what this will do, this will tell you most about the wear of the cylinder uh, within the ordnance specs. Uh, should feel, you should feel a little resistance just after entering the power stroke area of the cylinder. Stop at this point. 
it will only go to in about eh, half an inch uh, in from the cylinder face. Let's try it. Perfect, right there. All right. Now, the next gauge is 0.53 thousandths. Uh, and this easily enters past the power stroke area and may enter all the way to halfway point of the gauge or one inch uh, from the cylinder face. Um, this is no go, 532. The gauge should not enter the power stroke area. You should feel a solid stop as it reaches the ring. Let's try it. Nope, won't go in. Don't force it. So that tells me that I have a perfect uh, in-spec gas tube cylinder for my M1 Garand. And that's what you want. Now you can buy these anywhere from 115 to $145, sometimes more. Uh, some of them are NOS, which is really the best way to go. Um, this one is NOS. These are stainless steel. Uh, hard to believe that stainless steel in World War II, right? But that's what this tube is. Um, but it, this is a very important part of the operation of your, your M1. Uh, so that's about it. These are about, I don't know, $35 to $55, depends on where you get them. But if you're gonna own a Garand, you should have a set of these. They're very important. So, um, I hope uh, I help some people out here. Um, I'm not a professional, uh, uh, you know, video man, but I did my best for you. So, uh, all right. Well, good luck. And if you get an M1 Garand or you have one, have fun. They are incredible. Uh, they're revered all over the world. And I've never heard anyone ever say a bad thing about an M1 Garand, especially the World War II Korean and the Vietnam veterans, the early Vietnam veterans. So uh, thank you and uh, take care.